Sophie, and I want to welcome you to the forest here at the Canadian Ecology Centre. Today we're going to get to know a tree called the balsam fir. It's a native Ontario tree species. The balsam fir is a coniferous evergreen tree, meaning it doesn't lose its needles when fall comes. Okay, so come on, let's have a closer look at those needles. So as you can see, the needles are flat. If I take one off and show it to the camera, it is flat. If I roll it between my fingers, it does not roll, it just slides and stays flat. You can also see that the needles grow on the branch also flatly. So I brought my ruler out here today and I'd like to measure one of those balsam fir needles. So we're measuring in centimeters and I have it lined up with my zero and it almost reaches the two. So we can say one needle is about two centimeters long for balsam fir needles. So now we can follow those needles on the branches over to our trunk of our tree. And we kind of notice that there's some spaces and some branches, some spaces and some branches. And what we can tell about those branches is that they're growing all along the trunk in all directions. And we can call that set of branches growing around the trunk a whirl of branches. And in between each whirl, there is a space. And then we come to another whirl of branches. So these whirls and spaces can tell us how old a tree is. So we can go from the bottom and here we see at the bottom, it looks a little bit different. The whirls look a little bit different, but that's because now the tree is growing up and it's not using all of its energy to send to these branches, but all of its energy is put out to its taller branches who are meeting the sun but we can still tell the whirls. So let's count together. So we have the base and we go up and here's one whirl we can see. So that's one year of growth. And then we can go up again. These are just a few branches. Where is our next whirl? This is our next whirl of branches. So this is two. Now we're at two years of growth. Go up again. Here we've met another whirl. That's three go up again, it's a bit shorter of a space, there's four, up again, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to the top, ten, and we can see it's on its year of growth. So ten years and it's still growing up. This space between whirls is so long when you compare it to this space between whirls. And that tells us that some years of growth for this tree is better than others. When there's a big space, that might have meant that there was lots of sun and good rain for the tree to make a lot of growth before it sent out another whirl. It's so interesting to see that here I stand 25 years old and this is how tall I am and we can look at our tree and know that it's 10 years old and still growing and it's taller than me. How cool! Most balsam fir trees have blisters of sap just like this one and as you can see I can poke it with my finger and it's soft. If I were to poke it any harder, it would pop and the resin would come out, just falling down the tree slowly. I'm not going to pop the blister because it could potentially be harmful for the tree. I was walking around looking for balsam fir trees and I found one, but on this one I also found something interesting. 
up here on the branch, I found it just like this, up in the branch, an old mushroom. Recently, I have learned that squirrels will do this. They will go and find a mushroom and put it up in a tree so it will dry and then they can find it for food later. What an interesting place for a mushroom to hide in a balsam fir tree. Once you're really comfortable with identifying balsam fir trees and you've checked with an adult that you've found the right tree, you can actually take a little needle, all you need is one, and put it in your mouth and try it. It has like a citrusy orange flavor and I really like it. What do you think of it? Thank you for joining me in getting to know the balsam fir tree a bit better. I encourage you to get out and find balsam fir trees near you. Make sure to measure their needles, see if they're flat, flat growing and the needles are actually flat. See what the bark looks like, check out the world, and you might even find some surprises in those balsam fir trees, like uh, the mushroom that we found. And if you're sure about your identification, you might want to try and give it a taste.